Hey folks, Crazy Glamour 80 here again, and this time we're going to look at game number 15 in our 20 from 1986 series, and this is a really rare arcade video game of pool or billiards. <laughs> this one is quite awesome, and it is called Side Pocket. This was created by Data East in 1986, and uh, I do not recall ever seeing this in arcades. I think it was very limited release in U.S. arcades, but it is sure awesome. And uh, the controls are really well set up. You have a joystick to move your line of fire in which direction you're going to shoot the cue ball. And uh, there, is, uh, there is also a button that allows you to shoot and a button that allows you to change the English on your ball. Yeah, you can shoot. You can uh, hit high on the ball or low on the ball to to uh, give it more spin or make it kind of bounce a little bit, although the graphics of a bounce isn't really shown. Uh, or you can hit the ball on the left side or the right side, or just straight ahead. And there's the high score list. But uh, boy, do I love this game. This had some uh, ports to the uh, NES and the Genesis, and I love the music. <laughs> it's just so well done. See, so you can move the, the line of fire. It's very, very precise. Well, well set up. I love the controls. You even see your guy leaning over the table taking the shot. You have a power meter. Once you press the shot button, the power meter will start, start to rise and fall. And you need to press the button again when you're at the desired power level for how hard you're going to shoot. And we'll go ahead and get started. You will start the game with three lives or three balls. Once you miss, once you fail to sink a ball, that will cost you one life. And that even starts right off the beginning. But I did sink a ball with, uh, with the start uh, to uh, start things off. Um, if, you, uh, if you sink the uh, cue ball or scratch or whatever it's called, then um, that will cost you a ball. And uh, if you run out of time, then uh, your game will end, or if all your balls are lost. But um, on some of the pockets, sometimes you will see a star as you take your, your turn. And if you sink a ball into that, you might win back an extra life. Otherwise, you need to get to 10,000 points or every 50,000 after that for default settings. Um, you know, you can sink multiple balls with, with uh, trick shots in one turn. But what you really want to do is try to get some bonus points by getting the uh, correct order of balls sunk. Like uh, yellow, then blue, then orange, then purple, then light orange, light green, brown, black, yellow stripe, and so on. You can play with six, uh, nine, or ten balls. The, the the arrangement will change from stage to stage. I was never great at this game. I'm not terrible, terrible, but um, I like pool. I just never really got into it because uh, I didn't like the way that people monopolize the tables. Like uh, if if you play, then then you know, you have to play us. You can't practice. It just kind of felt like that, and I didn't I didn't like that. I wanted to practice here and there. Never, never got the chance because somebody kept wanting to come up and play and I knew they were going to beat the pants off of me. But, um, yeah, now I'm now I'm down to my last ball and I better sink this. This is, this is just such a great game. I was super impressed when I, when I saw the arcade version. I had played the uh, NES version and the Genesis version. Ooh, oh, wow. See, now you get those bonuses, and if you get enough points total, then an animation of the uh, pool bunnies might show them a hug and kiss you, or they might turn their nose at you. And if you do get that, uh, that good pose there with the uh, pool bunnies, then you get a, a trick shot, and you're timed on this, too. And uh, if you sink it, you get the, the bonus time left in points. Otherwise, you don't get a bonus and you just go to the next stage, just like here. 
and now we have an arrangement of eight balls and like I said there's uh, there's six eight or nine as far as I know there's not more than that there's not like the full 15 and sometimes uh, sometimes depending on the shot uh, you might make a ball uh, move a lot faster than than it would seem that it should but yeah getting all getting all those colored balls in the right order or not missing a ball at all uh, those can give you nice bonuses and again there's that uh, star pocket and we will see me uh, sink a ball into that later and like I said that might give you uh, an extra life or you know an extra ball back or it might just give you some nice bonus points like I think 5,000 bonus points and uh, if you get the extra life with the uh, with the uh, star pocket shot then you will also get 1,000 points along with the extra life but yeah depending on how many points you scored you will either get the gals happy and hugging you and kissing you or you will get them looking down at the ground in shame and then uh, turning their nose at you all right lost all lost all my balls <laughs> but uh, then you get to put in your initials and you get to continue right where you left off which is very nice but I'm not going to I'm just gonna let the time run out but yeah you are timed if you manage to sink a ball you will get 10 seconds back which is nice but that is side pocket and now we're going to look at uh, some of those uh, pocket uh, pocketed balls in the uh, star pocket. <laughs> oh, not not quite there. But uh, we we are going we are going to look at the English that I put on on the ball. Top, you can uh, hit the top of the uh, the cue ball. You can hit the bottom of it. You can hit left or right of it. Or again, you can just hit straight. But we will but we will uh, look at those um, uh, star pockets being sunk or sinking a ball in the uh, star pockets there we go or maybe no no that's a that's a scratch I accidentally uh, sunk the cue ball but here's a star pocket and that gives you uh, an extra ball back and now uh, here's one where I just get points and again it's uh, 5,000 points but hey whatever you can do to get the the gals happy <laughs> and uh, here's the gals getting pissed screw this guy <laughs> and there is the uh, nine ball arrangement uh, you might have to get far in the game to get that and there is the NES box of Side Pocket. And the NES version of Side Pocket was reworked for Japanese arcades into the game Pocket Gal. And there's nudity in it. <laughs> kind of stupid. But uh, at any rate, that was Side Pocket by Dad East in 1986, game number 15 in our 20 from 1986 series. Well, I thank you for watching Side Pocket by Daddy East, and I hope you join me soon for game number 14 in my 20 from 1986 series. Y'all stay warm, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye, folks.